We have to get, listen, we have to get back into the point where we realize that Jesus is the word of God. Right. Yes. Jesus is Amen. the revelation of God. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, I, I see people all, all the time saying, like, I just want to hug Jesus. Well, when you're receiving revelation, you are hugging Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Open up your Bible. Yes. Right. right. You, you know what I'm hugging. hugging. Right. The, right. When you're receiving yeah, revelation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the, the crazy part about that is, like you said, Jesus is the word. Mm -hmm. But in mainstream christianity there's no emphasis on reading your bible mm -hmm. right right so if we have generations of bible illiterate christians wow. then how can we say that we know jesus right exactly. because it's kind of like it's kind of like what's a good analogy for that it's like it's like it's like okay someone someone says um, I'm going to give you this car, but you have to read the manual first on how to turn it on, how to operate it, how to put gas in it. And then you never, you never read it. And, and then you sit in the car, right? And you're like, Hey guys, like I got this car. I know what I'm doing. And then someone says, okay, I need you to come here, but you don't know what to do because you never read the manual. Like you, you, you don't know how to operate it. So if I say, okay, I know God, and this is how I operate in the spirit. And this is how I do whatever I need to do. But you never read the manual on Jesus on how to build a relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to come to a point where something's going to happen. And you realize like, dang, I really don't know him how I know him. Mm -hmm. or, or you're going to run into a situation and you're going to fall right either right back into the world or you're going to fall back into your old habits. Mm -hmm. right. Because you never read the manual mm -hmm. and basically you don't know what to do. So you just get out the car. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. So right. that it's, it's really interesting how you said like Jesus is he literally is the word. Mm -hmm. And right. and part of the Lord bringing his word is to literally form Christ in us, yes. because like obviously Christ is in us, but he has to be formed. He has to be developed. Right. right. Um, but that's a process. Mm -hmm. And that process obviously starts with his word. Mm -hmm. Right. Because right. it's literally him mm -hmm. and, and it's how we get to know him. And, and it's his. And I mean, even that in and of itself is so much deeper, but. It's really the essence of a person. It's literally like the conversation piece of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Amen. how do you get to know someone physically? Mm -hmm. You got to talk to them. Yeah. You got to you got to spend time with them. Yeah. You got to have a conversation with them. Um, and these the each Bible is a testimony of God. It's it's men of God that have spent time in his presence. It's men of God that have been anointed and called as prophets and apostles. So these are people that spent time with God and they're giving you their testimony and they're showing you like the talking points um, on how to build that relationship. So it's, it's really interesting how how you stated that. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, even to that, Chaz, that's why even going back to the question, what's a good denomination? Like we said earlier, it's not about the denomination. It's about what's being taught. Mm -hmm. It's about what we're coming into an understanding of, which is why it's important for us to have that relationship with the Lord. Because then mm -hmm. we'll have discernment and we'll be able Amen. to bear witness with who's mm -hmm. teaching and mm -hmm. say, that doesn't sound like it's according to the word of God. Mm. So that's how we'll be able to know, okay, this person's lining up with the word. Maybe yeah, I can get with that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because the more word you have, the more discernment you have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. Because a lot of, I know a lot of times, you know, people might be like, okay, well, you know, I want to sharpen my discernment, but it's just like, mm. it's just like, um, it's just like if I try to tell a doctor, this is how you do surgery. He's like, who are you? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Because right. he's sharp in his in, in, in his in his field. Right. Right. So no one can come to him and tell him he's doing something wrong because he's like, bro, I, I put in 12 years into this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like you're not just going to tell me that this is wrong. Mm -hmm. So the 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 more, you know, the less you can be deceived. Exactly. And, and and that's why there's so much deception is because there's no emphasis on mm. scripture. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're going to show up. We're going to hear this verse. You know, I'm going to feel better about myself. And that's it. But the more, the more word you have, the more of a conviction that you're going to live with, yeah. and the more discernment you're going to have, and the more you're going to grow in your spiritual walk. Um, because yeah, the, you know, obviously there's there's prayer, which is, you know, really key. There's worship, mm -hmm. spending time in His presence, but spending time in His Word gives you that 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 sharpness mm -hmm. that allows you to approach a situation, and, and then you go, okay, well, the Word says this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to apply that to that yeah. versus like, okay, this situation happened and then you just apply your own carnal reason to it. Mm -hmm. And you're like, dang, like, why am I in this situation again? Well, mm -hmm. if you read the word, you probably mm -hmm. would have knew what to do in this situation. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's really the, the, the equipping of the saints. 
yeah. that mm-hmm. allows us to um, to sharpen our discernment and have that spiritual intelligence that we need to to be able to combat any anything that doesn't really sound right. Amen. It's like that verse that says, study to show yourself approved. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you study, then you'll know what's right and what's mm-hmm. wrong. Mm-hmm. So really, you have no one to blame for being in deception because God has given you everything you need to be able to differentiate what's him and what's not. Mm-hmm. Amen. If you were to exactly. open your Bible and read it. Yeah. 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 There's mm-hmm. an accountability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. You know, Krista, you made a video. I forgot when it was, but uh, it was really interesting because you was talking about how the Lord is the word. Mm -hmm. And I believe that people get too fixated on the historical Mm -hmm. man, Jesus, instead of the revelation of God. Mm -hmm. Because when you say that you love Jesus, you're saying that you love the word. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So if you don't even read the word, how can you really love Jesus? Right. Right. Or you say you believe in Jesus, but you don't Mm -hmm. read the word. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, I love Jesus. No, you love the historical story of Jesus. Right. You don't even know Jesus. Right. right. You don't even God. open your Bible. How do you love right. the Lord? Right. Because right. he says, it, it, why it, do you love me? You don't do what I say. You don't mm-hmm. follow my yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Amen. It, it's it's impossible mm-hmm. to truly love the Lord if you're not in the revelation of God. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Because right. the Lord right. is the revelation of God. Yeah. yeah. So when, when you only say you love the Lord and you're not in your scriptures like that, you are acting out of a carnal state. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And the Lord mm-hmm. wants us to act out of a spiritual state. Mm-hmm. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, and like like mm-hmm. bro was saying, the more you know, the more you'll have discernment. Hallelujah! And the more we know, the more we'll have, the more our sword will be sharp mm-hmm. for us to be able yeah. to separate yeah. the spirit and the soul. Mm-hmm. Amen. Glory be word. to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.